all you magical folk and welcome back to my channel. I hope we're all keeping safe and well. So today, my owls dropped off a little surprise parcel for me. I actually got a message from The Forgotten Corner who I did a video for a few episodes back and they wanted to send me a new product. So basically they just gave me the information of they've got a new product and they wanted me to unbox it for them on my channel. So of course I was very, very grateful, very, very intrigued. I have no idea what this is. It came in this box and yeah, they actually do have, if I can hide my, my address, they have a new sticker on the front, which actually has their logo and stuff on the top. So I thought that was really, really cool. Really nice touch. It looks really, really pretty. I really like it. And it does say owl post on here as well, just above my address. So I can't really show you. Or maybe I'll be able to show you if I do that. There we go. So it says owl post on there, which I thought was a really lovely little touch. And yeah, I'm very intrigued. So I'm going to crack on into this box. Don't forget, if you are new and you haven't done already, then please hit the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community. Also, don't forget to turn the notification bells on to be notified every time I upload a video. And you can always go and check me out on my social media. Just a quick little interjection guys, I did speak to the Forgotten Corner just after I unboxed everything from this box and they told me that it's part of the 1981 box that they're releasing for Christmas. So definitely go and check out the Forbidden Corner. All the links will be in the description down below, but let's get back into the video quick. Right, so let's get on into this box. I am super intrigued. I have literally no idea what is in here. So I'm really, really keen to get on in and find out. Don't stab yourself. Okay, I think I'm in. Ooh. Okay, what is this? What is this? Okay, I think this is just some shredded paper just to keep protection of whatever is inside here. So let me move some of this out of the way. I met with some styrofoam on top and ooh, we have things inside. So let's see what we have. This is catching my attention first of all. What are you? Am I supposed to pull you? So what are you? Okay, so this says uh, Scriven Chef's Quill Shop Rainbow Ink, one galleon. Oh, that's cute. That's like a little advertisement for the quill shop. So that's really, really sweet. I've got some of the styrofoam stuck to the side, but yeah, that's really, really cute. I like that a little print. That's adorable. Okay, this is on top as well. It's in a brown paper wrapping. So I'm going to see what this is. Oh, okay. We have... We have a Mr. and Mrs. Dursley, number four, Privet Drive, Little Whingen, Surrey. It does have a wax seal uh, sticker on the back as well. Obviously, this is supposed to be a letter of some kind. Oh, it's Velcro. That's cool. I like that. What is in here? Wow. Okay. So this is a letter to Petunia from Dumbledore. And it's on aged paper and you can see they've charred all the edges and stuff and kind of made them look really, really old and parchment-like. That's really cool. And this says, uh, the 1st of November, 1981. Dear Petunia, you asked me once why you weren't magical like your sister, why you couldn't come to Hogwarts and had to wave desolately from the platform at the train station escaping away, robbing you. I do not endorse the term muggle, Mrs. Dursley. I believe we are all magical in our own way. Your sister loved you for who you were, and I know that there is someone inside who loved her back. Regretfully, that sister is gone. Lily Potter, nay Evans, is no more of this earth, murdered by a foul creature that shall harm no more. And this, Petunia Dursley, this is a request. Magic you never found, do try to see it in the baby I now entrust to you. I am resourceful enough to find other venues of safety for this child, but this is my gift to the girl who once wanted to find the magic in her life. This is the last symbol of Lily Evans, the sister you loved and loathed. Treat him like you would your own. He will be protected under your care and last promise left by your departed sister. And you are welcome to Hogwarts. You always were. You were no lesser than Lily. My dear Petunia, no lesser. And that is why I shall trust you to care for the child of the sister you lost and raise him into a proud wizard worthy of his legacy. Remember that I believe in you. Yours sincerely with warm regards, Albus Dumbledore. Wow, that is really, really cool. I love that. Although it does give me like a tinge of sadness because obviously this letter uh, to Petunia from Dumbledore was kind of like a plea to say, you know, you loved your sister, you lost your sister. And this is kind of his plea of saying, you know, treat Harry how you would treat your own child and, you know, remember your sister is, is within him and he's the last sort of part of your sister that's still alive. 
and obviously we all know sadly that she didn't really do that she treated harry really poorly and um, was very cruel to him and yeah she kind of didn't take dumbledore's advice and to me it's just really really sad so i love that it's a really really cool item it's something that you can keep and display on your magical shelves um but yeah it just kind of gives me a little tinge of sadness that letter poor harry okay we still have some bit and bobs inside here so i'm gonna go for this next what are you Ooh, this is pretty i like this and i'm gonna get it out safely Ooh, okay this is really cute we have a quill look at that how lovely is that i love the color of it the red and sort of black sort of speckles through it that's really really cool it does have a really cute and ornate little sort of end on it as well it's got some little claspy bits and some green is that twine or it looks like twine not twine sorry um like um like metal wrap i know what i'm saying in my head i'm not coming across on camera but yeah that's really lovely i really like that little quill okay going for this next this is full of some really cool bits and bobs gotta be honest wow okay are you supposed to be ink does it open i don't oh i just realized the quill fits in the top i don't there we go how cool is that that is lush so this says screaming shaft's quill shop it's got a gorgeous little charm on the side of it it's got some twine wrapped around it as well that is so pretty that is lush i absolutely love that wow what a cool idea that is absolutely gorgeous and i haven't got anything like this on my shelves at the moment so this is so going on my magical shelves i absolutely love that i don't think there's anything inside i think it's been painted to look like there's ink inside which is absolutely fine it is just display only but yeah that is absolutely beautiful i love that what a cool idea pop you down there okay we still have some bits and bobs in here i'm gonna go for this next what are you Ooh, okay so we have a scriven chef's quill shop box this looks really really cute let's see if we have anything inside we do Oh, what are you? Oh, don't drop anything, Kaylee. So this says Albus Dumbledore had a handsome scarlet quill on the desk in his office. So obviously this is what this is. It's Dumbledore's quill. Since it matched the colour of Fawkes's body feathers, it might have been a phoenix feather quill. You never know, eh? There are bits inside there, but we do have a piece of paper on top as well, which I'm going to quickly double check. Uh, so it says display use only. So yeah, this this is not a working quill. It is just display purposes only. But I am not mad in any way about that because that is beautiful. And it says Albus Dumbledore. Oh, okay. So I think it's just, yeah, it's kind of that reiterated, I suppose. Um, yeah, it pretty much is exactly the same. And then we've got some, these smell amazing. What are you? Oh, we have a little baby. <laughs> and we have a chocolate frog. I don't know what they are a minute. I'm thinking maybe... I'm thinking maybe wax melts. They smell amazing. Oh, wow. That is so adorable, though. We've got little baby. So I'm assuming that's supposed to be like a little baby Harry sleeping. And obviously then we've got a little chocolate frog. There is another thing underneath it as well. So I'm going to double check what this says. It says, hey, Kaylee, congratulations on getting over 500 subscribers. Here's a little something from our latest creations to say congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. Wishing you all a very happy Christmas and a bright new year. Here is the next lucky 500 subscribers from all of us at the Forgotten Corner. Oh, that is really, really sweet. Thank you so much, guys. I'm absolutely beaming. Thank you. I think these are wax melts. So I'm, I mean, they smell amazing. They've got to be wax melts, but I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I'll have a little bit more of a clue later on. Or if not, I can message them and just double, double check. I don't want to burn them if they are because they're so cute. There we are, pop them back in there for now. Okay, what else do we have in here? We have just a little scrolly next. So that is, I think, everything in the box. Yeah, that is everything. So we just do have a little scroll last. So let me double check what this is. Ooh, this is cute. So again, it's from uh, Scriven Chef's Quill Shop. I think I'm saying that right, I hope I am. Um, it says High Street Hogsmeade, Scotland, Great Britain, uh, 1810-1981. Dear Dumbledore, we hope you're doing well in such dark times. Please find and close your order from Scriven Shaft's Quill Shop. One feather, one red feather quill, one ink pot, and one wooden nib box. Stay safe. That is so lovely. Look at that. I love that. That is so cool. These are some really, really awesome items. I can't believe how adorable that is. It's so cool. I really, really love it. And the little box as well, which obviously is supposed to hold all the quill nubs. And then obviously we've got our smellies inside as well, which 
Oh my god, every time I sniff them, I'm like, oh, it smells so good. What's that on his leg? It's a little chocolate rug, and I think there's like a butterfly or something on his leg. Did I show you this? I don't think I showed you it. How naughty of me. There's like a little, not butterfly, ladybird. There we go. So that's a little chocolate frog. He's very adorable and he smells amazing. And then obviously we have little baby Harry as well. If I do it like that for you. Does see he's sleeping? <laughs> it's so cute. Well, wow, what can I say? Thank you so, so much to The Forgotten Corner for sending me these items. Just so impressed by that quilt. It's absolutely gorgeous. I can't stop staring at it. And I'm so, so grateful for you for sending it to me and for wishing me a congratulations. Yeah, go and check out The Forbidden Corner, guys, because they are super, super nice. They have some really amazing items. And yeah, I'm just absolutely overwhelmed, blown over. This is just so amazing. Thank you so, so much again to The Forgotten Corner. Don't forget, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a magical thumbs up for me so that I know. Also, don't forget, if you haven't done already, to hit the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community. And also, don't forget to turn the notification bells on to be notified of every time I upload a video. And I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye, you guys.